Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is willing to risk friction with the United States to prevent a return to the Iran nuclear deal. That comes as Netanyahu may be in his final days as Prime Minister, as opposition leaders try to form a bloc to oust him from power. Joining me now is Ariel Davidson, Senior Policy Analyst at the Jewish Institute for National Security of America. Ariel, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thanks for having me tonight, Ben. So tell us a little bit, as Americans, what our perspective ought to be about what's going on in Israeli politics at the moment. Well, right now, what we're seeing in, in Israeli politics is deeply disconcerting because essentially what would happen if Netanyahu is no longer prime minister is we would have a unity government, which would be divided between two Israeli politicians, Naftali Bennett and Yair Lapid. What's interesting about the two of these politicians is that they share virtually nothing in common when it comes to actual policies. Bennett is a staunch right winger, and Yair, Yair Lapid is actually a liberal centrist. They're, the only glue that holds them together is that they're anti-Bibi. They're mm -hmm. really, this really is a never-Bibi coalition. And it, it's, it's a little bit, dis, it's, I would say, sort of disturbing because from our perspective in the United States, you know, we want stability uh, and we want, you know, rely, we want reliability and we're not necessarily going to see that because this coalition that's forming, this coalition of change, you know, they're advertising themselves as being pro-democracy and rule of law. But again, the only thing that unites them is that they're anti-BB. The thing that is so concerning, I think, for a lot of Americans is that we've seen Netanyahu stand up uh, over and over again for Israel's interests over the past many years and, and obviously his career. And I think a lot of Americans are concerned that the Biden administration, frankly, is not taking uh, a serious look at uh, defense of Israel as an ally in this moment, that they want to get that uh, Iran deal juice started again. Uh, what should Americans be thinking about this moment, given that you might have a shift in leadership? Is this something that the Biden administration really wants? And what does it mean for potentially helping Iran's interests? Absolutely. So I think what Americans should see first and foremost is that there is a certain level of hypocrisy taking place. So the recent operation that we saw in Gaza, the United States was actually very supportive of Israel and that, and that was good. But what was happening simultaneously and sort of behind the scenes was that the Biden administration had a special envoy in Vienna negotiating with Iran. And the, the sad part about this is that all of those rockets that we saw flying into Israel from Gaza were funded by Iran. So what's going on in Vienna right now, what you mentioned, these uh, negotiations to re-enter the Iran deal, that I think is very damaging to U.S. interests. It's very damaging to Israeli interests, and it actually promotes widespread instability in the Middle East. And so I think Americans should be looking long and hard at the Biden administration's efforts to re-enter the Iran deal, because I would say it's not in the best interest of the United States. Uh, especially since we're coming to the, you know, the bargaining table yeah. and saying that we would be lifting sanctions on Iran. It's completely backwards. It takes every wrong lesson uh, from recent experience. Ariel, thank you so much for taking the time to join me tonight. Thanks for having me tonight, Ben.